Okay, uh, this is Rani Ahmed uh, with you. Okay, we're gonna talk about uh, barcode reader simulation under uh, Linux using uh, the program named Xmacro. Xmacro is a program that uh, that's used to record all the events and uh, the uh, the events uh, of uh, the mouse and the keyboard, and also uh, play uh, those events. Okay, uh, through generating them. Uh, uh, through generating them, yes, but the the uh, yani, uh, the com there are commands that will be written to a file that will tell X macro to generate all these uh, uh, events of the mouse and the keyboard. Okay, now uh, uh, the barcode reader, okay, is this device? Start with it. Okay. Um, Yes, we need this file later. Okay, this is a barcode. This is the uh, barcode reader. So this is a barcode reader. Okay, it sheds the lights over the barcode. I think you see, you've seen it in all supermarkets. Okay, and all malls. Okay, every uh, one, uh, every mall usually has this barcode reader and the barcode, which is uh, stick to uh, the item uh, to be sold. Okay, at the cashier. So, um, uh, so when the barcode reader reads this barcode, okay, it will translate them to these num uh, numbers on the bottom. Okay. Now, uh, I don't have a barcode reader, so it will cost me around uh, here in Lebanon. It will cost me around uh, eighty dollars. Okay, I read about they talk about thirty, but I don't know why in Lebanon it's very ex expensive. So, uh, what we are going to do is write uh, the code, okay, required. It's not a programming code anyway, it's just like the instructions that will uh, tell Xmacro what to send to your application. My application is just a cashier application. Here it will be writing uh, the barcode numbers, okay. Uh, so, we'll, uh, we'll see how we. Uh, Tell uh, X macro to be uh, my uh, keyboard on uh, or my uh, barcode reader, which is uh, which has the same functionality as a keyboard. Okay, it will write the number and type the number and uh, always send a new line and enter button at, at the end. Now, um, uh, now we open a file first. Okay. Uh, but before, sorry, uh, to install it is just as easy as uh, where is that? Uh, apt dash get install. Sorry, here yeah, sudo because I'm not a uh, normal uh, an administrator a root and x macro. Okay, and you press enter. It's already installed. Okay, I don't use sudo, but I'm just telling you. And um, uh, for those who are on Ubuntu, and uh, yeah, uh, after installing it, we start writing a text file which will tell uh, X macro uh, what to send as events, as keyboard and mouse events. So first of all, it's very important to understand that we need some delay. So as for example, uh, currently the keyboard, see it's it's here, okay? See the cursor, it's now here. Now, I want to, uh, yani I want to make the uh, cursor, okay, uh, move to somewhere else, which is which is gonna, which is gonna be here, okay? So if I need some time, so. Uh, uh, just to make sure that's writing it correctly, okay, on the right place. So give some time, like five seconds here, okay. Now, next is uh, use uh, the command name string. So this means let the uh, the keyboard type uh, the following text. Now this text is my my barcode number. The codes are already uh, saved in my uh, applications database okay 
now uh, and you know as we said every number must be followed by an enter so we use this word k key str okay now k str is uh, it takes uh, a key uh, a keyboard button now how how uh, uh, to write this uh, keyboard button okay now all I need is just an enter but I have to tell you here okay uh, first let's let's go back to the readme file okay which is okay see okay so we need this readme file I'm gonna read it and uh, he's telling me here on the bottom that down the bottom that key str will take this uh, the key uh, the key name which is found in the headers of uh, X windows okay which is in this file so all, I, all I've uh, gonna do is copy this paste it over here it's already pasted and just to go to Google and search for it okay you'll find this result first one go to the uh, go to it okay now uh, see for example if I want to add the backspace okay in the readme is telling me that you have to remove the xk prefix okay underscore you have to remove uh, this xk okay and use just the normal name like backspace here tab as is okay caps caps uh, sensitive okay case sensitive so I type for example for the enter button okay find enter button it's not a tab it's enter okay so it's this one okay uh, so it will be without the XK here underscore will be uh, KP underscore enter so I type this way next time K string KP enter so every time I want to add a new bar a new barcode I type a string the barcode I want to send and next will be an enter button Okay, so this is how it's gonna be sending. It's going to send every time uh, the number plus the enter, number for the plus the enter without you typing them yourself. Okay, and this is good for uh, uh, on change events. Okay, that come uh, with uh, your text input. Okay. Now, uh, as long as I save them, what I do is I go to my quit this now. I do the following I type this way okay not this one sorry it's not track like is for recording the events we know we need to play them okay and what display is being used zero which is my local display okay this is just an next one this thing so zero and then you type the, the name of the file which will be read from uh, into the command so this is uh, uh, input redirection not output redirection because uh, you're reading what's coming from the file into the command this way okay uh, because uh, uh, this command uh, works by reading things from uh, standard input okay now um, if I uh, play it see it's a delay so I'll open the five seconds uh, it's now focused over here so see now it's very quick I know but just wait now I made my program is just like uh, F12 just to clear everything without saving th stuff so I can repeat it again with some delay in typing so look at this minus D because there's an option in macro uh, in milliseconds by the way so we're gonna use is the default is 10 milliseconds we're gonna talk about theory okay in typing letter after the our the character after the character 
So I'm going to move here, go focus, start. See? And this is my program is now counting the dollars of the uh, things that are uh, bought. Okay? So this is how you simulate uh, the barcode reader. Okay, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for your watching.